Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to North Dakota Today. All right, we are officially into March, and a lot of us think about St. Patrick's Day or March Madness when we think about spring sports, but there's more ways to celebrate your heritage this month. Josie is here from Moorhead Parks District to tell us all about an exciting festival, the Celtic Festival. Good morning. Good morning. It's so great to have you here. Uh, we love any type of local celebration. It's something nice to look forward to mm -hmm. since we're still in the depths of winter. <laughs> we need a bright spot to That's look true. forward to. So yeah. tell us about the festival. Yeah, it's uh, very exciting. It's been happening for, I guess, uh, going on two decades wow. now. Um, it's approaching anyway, I yeah. should say. Uh, really rebounding since the pandemic. Mm -hmm. We're ready for another uh, year of Celtic festival fun and dancing and music and yes. delicious food. Uh, it's all going to be there. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I think we have videos and maybe even uh, some photos of, of the event itself. So this will be your first time actually that's participating. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting. You're a newcomer as well. Yep. But what is it that you are hoping the community comes out to enjoy? Yeah, I hope the community comes out to enjoy just some really fun, uh, accessible culture and musical performances. There's yeah. a lot of... Um, Celtic heritage to take in. There will be informational booths. There will be delicious food, courtesy of Concordia College uh, catering. Wow. Um, and there's just going to be a lot of cool uh, folk heritage yeah. music dancing to take in. So educational and entertaining. This mm -hmm. looks so fun. I love scrolling through the live look here, or excuse me, previous year's <laughs> looks. <laughs> yeah. Live look coming up soon. When is the event and how can people get out and celebrate? Yeah, it's Saturday, March 18th at the MCOM Center. Uh, doors will be opening up at 9.30. We have programming starting right away at 10 a.m. We have two separate uh, stages that will be active all day. We have a quick workshop in the auditorium. Oh, and what will that entail? Too. Uh, it's uh, an artist named Laura McKenzie from the Twin Cities. She's coming up and she's uh, giving a workshop presentation on the music of Outlander, <gasps> which is a very cool. I'm uh, obsessed with Outlander. Pop culture time. I'm yeah. obsessed. Oh, good. We can take a little listen into what folks can expect too. I'm so glad I asked you this question. How <laughs> incredible. Yeah. There's so much. I can look at my notes and tell you more. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, traditional wind instruments and voice that will be uh, demonstrated. There will be Irish tunes from the local band Tucker It Out uh -huh. with Annie Flynn, Pipes and Drums, McDonald School of Irish International Dance. The list goes on. And yes, on. and what a perfect time to celebrate. Okay. Uh, I'm all caught up on Outlander for as, as much as they have, they have released so far. Mm -hmm. I do know that there is a new book, and I think they're going to continue to make it. Don't quote me on that. Um, but for those at home, if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend. Very great series based on novels. Um, and I love that her last name, the artist, is Mackenzie, because that's a big... Naturally. Yeah, <laughs> big heritage last name in the uh, series as well. So that oh, is so right exciting. I love that we know that. Uh, where is the Umcom Center located? Yeah, it's at 202 First Ave in Moorhead. Um, there should be plenty of parking, but we also have Link FM doing their downtown route if you want to park in either of the Moorhead or Fargo downtowns and just Catch ditch, a ride. ditch the car, yeah. get the bus. Okay, and all the information good up there on your screen, moreheadparks.com for mm -hmm. more? Yes, <laughs> moreheadparks.com for more. There's also a Facebook event, um, and stay tuned for a, that delicious menu and oh. the schedule and all that good information. Okay, deal. I think we have a couple minutes left. Um, if we could go through, I know, I know. I'm like, Let's we're covering a going. lot of ground here. <laughs> we can just kind of keep the photos up and running. So, as we mentioned, this will be your first time participating. Yeah. What have you heard from other employees or other volunteers, or how much work really goes into putting something like this on? Yeah, I've heard it's a lot of fun. Um, I mean, I expect it to be a lot of fun. Yeah. I know just the energy can't help but be high when you have all this like wonderful entertainment and yeah. enthusiasm enthusiasm coming together. Um, it kind of works out nicely this year too where the parade is the weekend before. Yes. So people can really give their undivided attention to the Celtic Festival That's a great this year. point because now we just get, get to keep celebrating yeah. all month long. That's true. So the parade the weekend before. The parade, the, the party continues. Yeah, and the parade party continues. The parade party. <laughs> so. Well, thank you so much for that information this morning. Josie, I think we can take a live listen as we make our way out of this segment. We'll just jump on with that video.
And uh, yeah, thank you so much for providing all of thank that. Thank you so much. I really look forward to hearing how it all goes yeah. in the aftermath. See you at the festival, everybody. All right. Sounds great. <laughs> thank you, Josie. All right, maybe we don't have a live look at that song. Yes, we do. Perfect. <laughs> show it is national oreo cookie day and that means we have to taste one of their exclusive flavors that's up next <laughs>